Gemini 3 from Google is out and it looks like the hype is real. This AI model is absolutely insane. In this video, we're gonna go through where you can start using it now, what it can build so you don't get left behind in the world of AI. And at the end, I'm gonna show you how it's going to drastically change, again, the search engine landscape. Let's get to the first one. My favorite place to use all the Gemini models is inside Google AI Studio. You can see that it's available here now, Gemini 3 Pro Preview, which means we can build applications with it. Now, I've done videos about Google AI Studio and how incredible it is. If you want to build with, Google, with Gemini 3 Pro, Gemini 3, you want to go to build. And here, let's create something fun. Um, I've been reading a lot of science fiction lately and the books that I read haven't been adapted to Netflix, which I actually like, but I would also like to visualize what the character might look like. So let's create an app that will allow me to do that. Let's create an application that I can place in the character and the book title of a book that I'm reading using Nano Banana and using research. You will research how the character is described in the book and then you would generate the image of what that character would look like. Give me three different styles whenever it's generated and also suggest the actor who would be more likely to play this character something like that. We're going to pull that in the box here and then we just select the applications that we think might be relevant for this. So obviously Nano Banana, which is the image generator, we're going to use use Google search data. Of course, we're going to generate images with a prompt and Gemini Intelligence, why not? We're going to hit build. After a couple of seconds, it's going to do its thing and let's see what it comes up with. Cool. <laughs> And already we have lit lens, visualize your favorite characters, enter a character in the book series. We'll research the description and visualize them. Let's see if it works. Uh, instead of doing Darrow, I'm actually going to do uh, Severo Gold Barca, which is a Red Rising um, novel film. I read it a long, long years ago. It's one of my favorite book series, but I never knew how Severo looked. I don't want to do with the main characters in there because it would be a bit too obvious. So let's see if it did the application like we wanted to. So it's going to create the description or tell us the description of the user, give us three image types or styles of the character, as well as who would play this. So uh, Severo Gold or AU Barker. Severo Barker is a short Wari gold, distinctive goblin-like appearance. Yes, they actually called him the goblin in the book. We get eyes, hair, cool, generated prompts. That's awesome. This is how it would look like. A bit too goblin-y for me, but that's okay. Who would play him? Uh, Barry Keegan. Who's that? Oh, I can even look for more photos of Barry. That's actually great. I'd love to see Severo played by this guy. How cool is that? So one single prompt. And the whole thing was generated. I want to try one more user just in case it didn't just get lucky. I'm going to go uh, Hadrian Marlow from the Sun Eater series. You can tell it's Sun Eater. You can clearly tell my uh, appetite for books or the type of books that I like. But I just want to test it one more time to make sure that it didn't just get lucky. But it looks like it is doing it. This character should have black hair and I think violet eyes, if I remember the description correctly from the books. Hadrian Marlowe, Hadrian presents it with the imposing figure, tall, lean, violet eyes, long black hair. Yep, that would be him. So I've got an extremely realistic and modern animation style and a fantasy epic concept art. It's selecting the casting. Who does it think it should play the character? This is fun. I can't believe it worked with one click. Adam Driver. And it even created a picture of Adam Driver with him. That would kind of make sense, to be honest. And I can see more images of Adam Driver just to verify that. Pretty cool. Okay. <laughs> the other place where we can use this is in Gemini, obviously. If you go to the model selecting model, we've got fast and thinking. Now the thinking mode goes to uh, Gemini 3. So let's try it out. Let's go to Canvas. Um, let's see. Now let's build what does it got as an example let's build an asteroid game shooter sure let's see how good it is at building games remember this will be on the canvas feature which if it's a nice game it'll be kind of nuts i know games isn't the most practical thing to kind of play with this but there's a lot of things here not only the games but there is like the physics of a game that you need to figure out and you need to code and things like that the color a lot of things so that's why it's not a bad test. Not the smartest test, I get that, but regardless. All right, looks like our game is done. Let's check it out. Asteroids. Oh, whoa. Oh, it has physics. Except I can only shoot. I mean, the physics is quite nice. Oh, I lost. <laughs> Play again. 
Wow, cool. Um, let's see if we can fix this as... Let's try one more time. Okay, now I can shoot everywhere. It's actually got some noises as well. I'm not sure if you can hear that coming through. But I like the physics that it's given me. Uh, simple, but kind of cool animation. Anyway, let's stop that. So already two prompts and I've got a pretty good functioning game. With that, I want to try one more use case. Uh, I've seen this silly game everywhere online for some reason, the Apple Worm. I just want to show you this one here. I want to see if we can do a few things. Um, if I can get it to research the game and I can get it to straight copy it. But in Google AI Studio. So I'm going to start another one. And I'm going to go to your apps. I'm going to build here, sorry. Build. And I want you to replicate the game. Apple Worm. Cool. Research it. And let me play it. Um, I'm just going to let it choose all the functionalities that it needs to, whether it's using, I don't know, Nano Banana. I don't think it will, but let's see how it goes. All right, let's see if our Apple uh, Worm playing, we can, oh, okay. Holy the crap, we can play it. I fell, so it's got some physics there. Uh, crazy. I just created the Apple Worm game. <laughs> that is nuts. Probably not the best, we could probably use it, but okay, it did some research, it understood the physics, and it built a whole game. In one shot, this is kind of crazy. Now, before we finish, there's one thing that I think is really important for you to know, and that they are integrating Gemini 3 into Google Search. And I want to show you why this kind of starts changing a lot of search, because... Not only now can we select our mode and thinking, at least they're rolling it out to different people in the United States and so on and so forth, but what's incredible is that you'll start being able to use apps like we did in Canvas, but within AI search. This means that a lot of the strategies we used to use to get a lot of traffic from the AI search engines into our website need to really develop. You either need to create a very, very good enticing reason why somebody needs to go to your website because we used to build these little web applications. They used to solve something really quickly, like the one that's on the screen at the moment, uh, you know, visualizing some sort of uh, the three body problem, for example or we would have a calculation for a conversion rate calculator, all these things. So again, we're going to be getting less and less traffic to our website because of this exact same thing. It's not to say you need to freak out and throw everything out the window, that SEO is useless. What it means is that you need to develop along with this. We're going to get less traffic, but the traffic that you do end up getting from the AI search engines is incredibly valuable. And if you want to learn how to rank in the AI search engines, I highly recommend you check out our community, AI Ranking. You can try it out risk-free for seven days as well. I'll leave the link below. But I'd love to hear from you. How are you using Gemini 3? Have you built any applications with it? Please let me know in the comments. Cheers.